Hey guys, John V here from Phone Arena. You're watching our in-depth video review of the LG Lucid for Verizon Wireless. It's available right now. You can pick it up for $80 with a two-year contract. It's super affordable, and it's literally a small bundle of joy just because it features 4G LTE connectivity, a dual-core processor, and 1080p video recording. At first glance, the LG Lucid might look like any other smartphone in the market, but as we look around its sides in the back, we find it to be very refreshing. It has an overall chic appearance thanks to its angular cutouts and this red pattern back cover. It gives it a distinctive look, and overall, it's pretty attractive and sturdy. Even though it might not be as mesmerizing as other phones, we're quite content with the display on the LG Lucid. It's a 4-inch WVGA IPS LCD panel, so that's 480 by 800 pixels. When you combine its resolution and screen size, it makes for some really good details. We could still make out fine text with no issues and all. And seeing, seeing that it is an IPS panel, it has some nice viewing angles, some punchy looking colors, and a high contrast to still come out, come out as appealing. Departing from the norm, the Lucid features a uh, dedicated power button in the top right corner and it's circular in size. On the left edge of the phone, we have the micro USB port, the tactile volume control, and over here it seems to be like another button, but it's just there for aesthetics. See that its Android capacitor buttons are scrunched together and close to the bottom edge of the display, we do find ourselves accidentally pressing them sometimes. Meanwhile, above the display, we have the front facing camera and the tiny earpiece. In the rear, there's a 5 megapixel autofocus camera, single LED flash, and removing the back cover. Grants us access to its battery, 1700 milliamp hour battery, the micro SD card slot, and the micro SIM slot. If you've checked out a recent LG smartphone, you'll find the interface on the LG Lucid to be similar just because it's the latest version of the Optimus skin. Nothing really different about it. It's running on top of Android 2.3.6 gingerbread, so not yet ice cream sandwich. There's no exact date on when it's going to be available as well, but it does offer some enhancements to tide us over. For example, it features this cool uh, charging wallpaper, so when you're charging the device, you'll have this animation that goes on, which is pretty nice. And also with the gallery, it offers some of these uh, gesture movements, so if you tap the left and right sides, you could easily switch photos. Even though it's priced aggressively, the LG Lucid's packing a dual-core processor. Specifically, it's a 1.2 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon S3 processor with 1 GB of RAM. And honestly, it's pretty quick for most basic tasks, uh, pinch zooming here, and also navigating across the home screen. It's pretty fluid. But when we try to test it out with something a little bit more processor-intensive, for example, a live wallpaper of some kind, it does exhibit some levels of uh, choppiness. It's noticeable, but not terrible per se. And overall, it's it's still a pretty quick handset. But they're being spoiled by some other handsets with super large displays, so it takes some time for us to actually adapt to getting used to a smaller layout here with the keyboard, and of course that's what limits our rate of input, but for the most part, it's still more than usable just because of its responsiveness. Naturally, we're thrilled, we're always thrilled to find 4G LTE connectivity, and the same applies to this device here, so we get fast data speeds. As far as the web browsing performance, though, it is a little rather choppy with most of its uh, navigational controls, but it does offer flash support, so you do get that desktop-like experience. Initially, the uh, music player in the LG Lucid might seem like a very conventional looking player, but when we tilt it to landscape, we're treated to this 3D visual carousel, which gives it a little bit of eye candy and really, really adds to its overall presentation. As far as the audio quality, it's pretty strong, but it tends to sound a little bit strained at the loudest volume setting. Sure, it might be a smaller display compared to some other super-sized smartphones out there, but we like the video watching experience on the LG Lucid. It's playing our video here, which is encoded in DivX 1920 by 1080 resolution. You can tell moving very quickly, no lag or slowdown, and overall, it's a great experience. Now, it doesn't produce some marvelous masterpieces with its 5 megapixel autofocus camera, but nevertheless, we're pretty content with the overall quality it has to offer. It's more than usable, even for 4x6 printouts. Uh, the only issue that we find with its uh, quality is the fact with outdoor images, it tends to look a little bit underexposed, but aside from that, it's pretty sharp looking. Unfortunately, we can't say the same thing about its 1080p high-definition video recording just because the absolute most distracting part about it is that it's just marred by a lot of artifacting. Usually, it's most prevalent when we're panning, but it's just consistently everywhere, even as we're shooting a video still. It's just always there. Additionally, we're disappointed with the call and quality in the LG Lucid just because of the earpiece, voices have a little bit of muffling and loud setting and sound squeaky. Uh, luckily, our callers didn't have any issues on their own line, but when we switched to using the speakerphone, it produced the same distractions as before with the earpiece. During our time testing out the handset, we didn't experience any drop calls or any issues with 4G LTE connectivity and maintained a steady connection in the greater Philadelphia area. 
With its 1700 milliamp hour battery, we're able to get a little bit over 8 hours of continuous talk time in a full charge, which is a little bit better than the manufacturer's rating. As far as normal everyday operation, we're still able to get at least one day out of normal usage out of a full charge, so the battery life is pretty good. When we look back a year ago, most 4GLT devices were pretty expensive, just like the Samsung Droid Charge and even the LG Re Revolution. They were priced well over $200 and even in some, some cases $300 for the contract. But the LG Lucid, it wins for the fact that it's only $80 with a two-year contract. Super affordable, doesn't take much out of your pockets. And on top of that, it's bounced enough with its set of features and performance to be still an attractive handset. It's not that dreamy next-generation Android smartphone, but nevertheless, it doesn't have to be just because it excels decently overall and we're quite content with its uh, performance so if you'd like to learn more about the lg lucid you can check out our website guys phonearena.com this is john v thanks for watching